Okay, hello Venus and Scorpio people. This is going to be a love reading for August 10th through the 16th. Specifically for Venus and Scorpio. Okay, let's get it. One more shuffle. Okay. We have the star card. This is a, a good card to get to start off with. Um, Aquarius. You could have this in your chart, or um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. But this talks about um, hope. This is positive. This talks about healing as well. So there may have been a situation that um, that w may have been disastrous in some way. Um, disastrous sounds really dramatic. Um, but there may have been a situation in the past that you have either overcame or that you left behind with somebody. Um, and now you're healing from it, okay? There is restored faith. Um, but this was a, a situation that, that like, um, that really put you through a deep process. And now you are finally seeing um, the light. You are finally moving on, okay? There is a sense of balance now with the star card. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse. So Aces do talk about potentials, okay? Potential. We have a lot of air energy going on here. So with the Ace of Swords in the reverse, this is um, not being clear on a situation about somebody, okay? You could be holding, withholding um, communication from a person. Somebody could be trying to talk to you, but it, you have your suspicions. In the, in the past, there may have been some sort of manipulation going on, some lies, cheating, dis deceiving here. And we have the Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, you are on your guard from this person, okay? And you've been put by the ringer from them. But you're still pushing through, though, especially with the Star card. This has only made you stronger, okay? But there's a potential here for a new beginning. There's potential here for communication to happen too, but I feel like that's going to be declined. Someone does not have enough clarity on some on somebody on a situation, but Scorpio, you're still moving forward that though um, independently. 
you know, the star card comes after the tower, so there may have been some sort of tower moment that has happened, okay? But you're still moving on, even if things seem cloudy right now, or um, you don't know where... where the path is going to take you, okay? We have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. So yeah, things may feel stuck right now. Things may feel very unclear, like I said, and um, things feel stagnant for you at this moment. But the Star card you know, this could also be advice here to tell you to keep on having that faith, keep on bringing positivity, okay? If things in love are not working in your favor, um, whether if you're still with the person or you have broken up with somebody here, keep the faith, move forward, and I know you guys will. You guys are very um, determined people, Scorpios. Maybe you are waiting on communication from somebody to move forward, okay? Or vice versa. But someone's not sure about moving forward as well. Someone has not made a decision. Someone has not made up their mind. Someone has not made things clear yet. We have these six of wands in the reverse. So feeling like you're non-victorious in a situation dealing with love here, maybe with an Aquarius, maybe they are the ones that are withholding um, information in order to get the ball rolling here. We have temperance at the bottom of the deck. So a need for balance. Don't try to control this situation. The only thing you can control is, you know, yourself, how you deal with it here. And, um, you know, you don't feel very successful right now. You don't feel, you don't feel good right now, Scorpios and Venus, but... You know, keep the positivity here. Keep yourself balanced, stable. And if someone's withholding communication from you, it is because they are unsure where they want to, whether to move forward with this due to um, reasons, okay? Okay, and we have the Sun card in the reverse, Leo energy. So, you know, the Sun card also talks about lack of clarity. Ace of Swords in reverse, lack of clarity here. You feel in the middle. You feel, you know, left out in the cold here with these two cards. And that's why you're feeling, um, you know, not all that confident, not all that great, not all that stable. Whoever this person is that you're dealing with, um, I don't 
think things are going to move forward with this person, okay? You know, pay attention to how they treat you, how they're making you feel, how they're talking to you. You know, are they equally giving back the the love and energy and time and resources that you are putting in as well, okay? Keep that in mind there. And we have the Fool card. This is also Aquarius energy, okay? Aquarius Aries. But someone wants a fresh new start from something that is not turning in their favor here. Someone wants to let go of baggage and start new, start fresh, so that this wheel can go in their favor. But whatever situation in love you are dealing with right now, um, I don't think there's going to be any victories going on here, okay? So the advice here would be to keep the faith and, um, you know, to move forward, okay? Things will, you know, turn out better than you expected, okay? But there needs to be faith and hope that it will. We have the lovers in the reverse, so this is a disconnect. This is breakup. This is someone either not making a decision or someone that has made a decision. But that decision is to break up here, okay? So let's go ahead and pull an advice card. An oracle card. Um, some of you guys already see the situation for how it is. Your intuition is, is um, you know, telling you here. Have happy, happy in the reverse. Let's see what it says. Number twenty six. So in the reverse, this says lighten up because this is the Time to be ridiculous and silly. See the world through the eyes of a clown and don't take yourself or any situation right now too seriously. Have fun, be playful, and make laughter the order of the day. You'll be surprised by how everything just seems to fall into place when humor leads the way. Being happy and lighthearted is a wonderful icebreaker. Life is meant for play as well as work for laughter as well as tears, for celebration as well as focus. Spirit wants to sparkle through you today. Smile and enjoy each breath and each moment. Miracles lie in the silly things today. Okay, so again, with the, with the star card, you know, see all these people, they're really happy. The mom sprang, you know, her children with the hose. <laughs> but the... You know, they don't see it as a bad thing. They're just, they're having fun with it, okay? So, stay bright and, um, you know, don't take things too seriously here. You know, don't put all the baggage on yourself as well. Release some of it, okay? It's unnecessary. So that's all I have for you, Scorpio. I am offering personal readings. 
Um, they range from five to ten dollars. So if you're interested, all the information is in the link below.